Hello friends, Ben here with another non-sponsored fragrance video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, for this one, all I wanted to do is go over the fragrance I have choose to wear in uh, this the holiday season. Please feel free to share with us what fragrance are you considering uh, to wear in this the holiday season in a comment in the comment section of this video. And uh, for me, the holiday season start in uh, with a Thanksgiving get together, and then uh, moving into the Christmas get together, and at the end, the New Year's Eve uh, get together with a friend and family. And uh, the first holiday that we have coming up is the Thanksgiving one. For that, the fragrance I have picked to wear is the Burberry London. For many, Burberry London is the fall scent put it into a fragrance bottle here. Uh, this scent, once you apply it and when, when you uh, wear it, it will remind you of the uh, dry leaf from the fall season. It will remind you of some dry wood in the fall season. And it will be even some uh, floral notes that will keep you uh, smelling fresh and uh, ready to go. Uh, good for a uh, day wear and even uh, for the evening time too. The notes here, for the floral notes, you have some lavender, some bergamot, and uh, you have some cinnamon, which is not that predominant, the cinnamon scent in here. But then you have tobacco, which is what gives it the scent of the dry leaves. And it works really well with the, with the cinnamon that it has in the opening notes. Also, uh, you have here white wood, which is what gives it the woody, woody note, woody scent, woody vibe uh, in this fragrance. Uh, you get a decent performance here, about four to five hours. The fragrance is really easy to find and uh, very inexpensive. So there's no way that you will go run uh, picking up this fragrance for a uh, get together in the fall season. Like I said, really easy to find. I'll say that give it a try. Again, not a sponsored video, so I'm not making any money by talking about this fragrance. It's just uh, to share with you and uh, generate a conversation about the fragrance here in the platform. The next fragrance I'll be wearing is a fragrance by Alexandria Fragrances. This one is Kali Coco Dream. The scent here is the mostly chocolate, although you get some vanilla or amber and you get some citrus when you first spray it. But the entire time all you get is that chocolatey uh, smell from this fragrance very luxurious very rich it's quite uh, sweet enough that will cut through the cold days in the winter time and i think it's a great fragrance for the evening time so again this one is by alexandria fragrance and uh, the name of the scent is the coco dream I think I have talked about this one before in the past. If I wouldn't have Coco Dream, uh, I think the fragrance that I'll be wearing is the 1821, which is the vanilla rich fragrance too, but really good for the uh, winter time. I have to make sure to mention that uh, this fragrance may not work for everyone because it's richness, but it works perfect uh, here in the area where I live, where we have a heavy winter. And uh, this one is uh, really good for those really, really cold days. So uh, again, Coco Dream by Alexandria Fragrance is my pick for the uh, Christmas holiday. And lastly, the fragrance I'll be wearing for the New Year's get together is a fragrance that I still haven't had a chance to buy the full bottle yet. I still have plenty of uh, fluid here in this little sample I ordered a while back. It's a fragrance by the house of Rasasi and the name is Rasasi like yucca warm. It is a very unique smell. Uh, if you apply this fragrance, believe me, probably not many people around you is going to smell like you. And another thing is probably that this is one of those fragrances that you will know what to think about it the first time you apply it. But as you wear it more and more and more, you will have a chance to uh, learn to appreciate the scent. I don't think it's a scent for everyone, although uh, this one here is the, also a unisex scent. Uh, uh, ladies and a gentleman can wear it, but 
Some people claim that it, it comes out better in a man than what it comes uh, off on a lady. I don't know. Um, it is up to you to go and try it and uh, see what you think uh, about this one. I like the uniqueness on it, but I have to. Uh, <laughs> I like the uniqueness on it, but I have to be honest. Uh, it took me a few wears to uh, to get along with this fragrance. Now I every time I think about uh, New Year's Eve, this is the fragrance that comes to mind, and I really enjoy it. Uh, the notes here it has some uh, air, airby notes like thyme, and there is also some raspberry in here. There is that two type of leather, which is the normal leather, and there is some suede in here. And, and there is some amber and some uh, utmost is the other notes that you get wearing this fragrance. Like I said, it's a very unique. Not many people is gonna wear the, this fragrance around you for sure. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I am trying really hard to grow this channel. And please consider to um, give a thumbs up to this video so that way uh, YouTube will suggest this content to other people that may enjoy this type of conversation. And uh, please consider to stop by again next week for another uh, fragrance video. Until then, stay well. Bye.